Man, nobody's even here. I don't have time for this bullshit. What do I look like chasing grown adults to a meeting? I can't believe we just left like that. This is exciting. Are you sure you're able to drive? You're not still drunk, are you? Yeah, I I'm cool. I'm sober now. Tiff Money's gonna be pissed that we blew off her meeting. Fuck that bitch. Her lazy ass was probably just gonna delegate her work to someone else anyway. I hear she's already in trouble for dropping the ball on Judy's digital marketing campaign. Good. I hope they fire her rude ass. But enough about that lonely bitch. You never said where we were going. It's a surprise. Hey, did you find them? No, and fuck them. Blowing off my meeting. I get no respect around here. If I was an old white man, everybody would be in this bitch and on time. But you motherfuckers think you can show up to my shit whenever you feel like it. Meanwhile, drunk John is probably in the back alley giving a blowjob to a bum for a hit of crack. Yikes. That's a little harsh. I don't think you being black has anything to do with them missing your meeting. I think they think your work ethic is a little trash, so I guess they didn't think that you'd care if they missed the meeting. Fuck you too! Fuck all of you! Fuck this meeting! What you slap me for? Bitch, I ain't do shit to you! Anybody have the number to HR? Hey, I heard you slap the shit out of Chad in front of everybody. Why is that any of your business? It's my business because now I don't feel safe. That's what you call a hostile work environment. Grounds for termination. Get the fuck out of my face, you cripple. Huh? Look at you. You have an anger problem. Bitch, you need therapy. Your visit to the HR office is imminent. I hope they fire you. Yeah, well, while I'm down there, I'm going to tell them to drug test you and that I saw you do a line of coke at the sink in the restroom. That's a lie. I don't do drugs at work. Does it matter? Your drug test will state otherwise. You bitch! Um, what the fuck is all of this? Are you living in a motel? What are all those pictures on the wall? Um, yeah, I'm just living here temporarily. The pics are of my wife and her trash-ass boy toy. I've been documenting their affair, you know, for the divorce. Um, why did you bring me here? Sarah, since I first laid eyes on you, I've always wanted to make love to you. I couldn't because, you know, my trash-ass wife and, well, you're married to a power bottom, so we couldn't link up. Come on, don't do me like this. You want me too. I see you staring at my dick all the time. I'm not having sex with you in this dump. Okay, okay. I was just trying to save a little money. This divorce is draining me. That bitch is trying to take everything. I'll take you to a hotel, I promise. Let's go. Okay, I can understand you're going through a rough time. Let's get a bite to eat, then go to a hotel. Just so you know, I don't suck dick on the first date. It's cool. I'm just getting over a little bit of chlamydia, so I wouldn't suggest it. What? No, it, it's cool. It's like the last day I'm contagious. With the condom on, we'll totally be fine. Um, okay. Let's just get out of here. I can't stand looking at this dirty room and those balled up tissues. I hope there's not jizz in there. Yuck. Yeah, my bad. I've been masturbating a lot. Really quick before we go. Let's try to keep things a secret. We don't need everyone in our business. Agreed. Excuse me, Tiff Money? I'm Deborah from HR. You need to come with me immediately. <laughs>